Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be using this Reader's Digest book that I got. It's really long, it's actually 12 inches and in terms of width it's about seven and a half inches wide so it's quite a big book. I got a set of three of these and this is one of the ones with the smallest spine. There's one that's got a larger spine but I just thought I might see what I could do with this today. And I'm starting by pulling out the pages. I was going to try and use the pages in situ, but I've now changed my mind. It's, these are the most gorgeous books. They're just in all these colours. One of them is in greens, and there is some writing, you know, highlighting on them, but they're just beautiful. And look at this lovely index that's in the back. So I'll definitely be using a number of the pages in them. I've also got lots of diagrams and things like that in them, which I really like, and maps and all sorts of things. This particular one's Nations and Places, but I've got one that's all about nature and I can't remember what the other one's about. But anyway, I'm just going to cut away these from the spine. should be fairly easy because I've already taken one of them out. That's pretty easy. I'm going to flip it to the back. I'm leaving the end papers in place. The end papers are really nice, so I thought I'd just reuse them as is. Let's see if we can get this one off now. Well, hopefully I'll reuse those end papers. They may come off as I'm doing this. Yeah, okay. Might not be able to reuse the end papers. We'll see how it goes. last bit out. It just doesn't want to come. There you go. Got it. This is a little bit of the fabric from the spine and I really like that it's got this little yellow and green stripe across there so I'm definitely going to keep that. It's only a teeny bit but I will keep it. I'm just seeing there's one on this end too. Yeah, where they've attached it, they've just put a piece there and attached it to the paper. So both of those I will keep. Let's see what we're left with now. I think because it's so long, so big, this one, it'll do well with lots of pockets and things in it because there's plenty of room to put them in. I might try and take, hmm, I don't know if I want that off or not. Yep. Coming off, decided just then. This is the second one that I've got out. It's the world of nature, and it again has lovely images. And this paper is just so beautiful. It's really smooth and quite thick. It's not thin at all. Really nice colour and everything. And I'm wondering if. I could cut the spine out of this one and make some sort of a lap book. I really hadn't planned to do that today, but it just struck me looking at the size of them. And I really don't want them to go to waste and just be left, the covers just left after I use the pages in them. So let's cut it out. another piece of this lovely little greeny and yellowy sort of striped ribbon at the top and bottom of course. So I'm definitely going to salvage that again. And there's one down here too. I'll cut it when I get the back off. I might be able to cut it away. out reasonably easily. Cut that book binding tape out and it should be fine. Hmm. Making a bit of a hack of that but never mind. Okay, all right, that's out. 
Oh, that's really stuck in there. There you go, that bit's out too. So I've got four of them now. I'll put them over there so I don't lose them. And we've got another centre out. I've cut this one in half and I've cut the spine in half as well. I was going to cut the spine off totally. Then I realised I could use these pieces as my sort of, you know, to fold them in. So I could use that as the piece that I put on there. I'm using these as a guide, having cut that spine in half on one of them. And I want to now put that onto here. So I'm just going to overlap it a little tiny bit and hopefully that will be enough. And then I've got some binding tape that I'm using on it to stick it together. Let's just check if that worked before we put the second one on. Now that's, that's not too bad. I am getting some leeway with that when I fold it over like that. Now we'll see if that works too because it's um it needs to all work. If it doesn't work, it's a problem. What I've done is I've gone through and I've cut out a lot of the headings and the index pages, and also there are these big pages in the book where they have um like there's a whole sort of set um, this thing here where there's a whole lot of words about this section. I've already cut the index page out. I've taken some of those and I've cut those up into random strips as well. I thought this might make a really great collage. I'm not sure, but I'm going to have a go and see if I can get it to work. I'm sticking it onto this loose back page here, which is the last page of the book. And I have cut most of the strips out, but I think that I'll probably trim them down a little more too. And my idea is to just kind of put them across on the page. I could put them all randomly like this. I'm not great at doing that. It, I don't know. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't do it for me to do it like that. I could do it like that though. I think I'll stick with what I like. Though. Just got some matte medium here. And this will also give some sort of a seal to the top of the words as well as I stick them on. I'll just start off with some of that and see if I can get this to look any good. I think it will. It just I was going to stick the whole index on and then as I was getting it ready, I thought I'll just cut it out and that might be even better to put it on the page like this in strips rather than the whole index. Guess I'll overlap them a little bit as well. Let's see what I can do. So I've got this one here, which is I cut the bottom of the index out because it had, for some reason, the last little bit at the bottom is kind of always got this. So I'll see how this goes when I put it down. I will have to trim the right hand side of some of these off of course as I go through when I'm finished I mean let me see if I can get some of these might be a little bit tedious but I thought that's what I want to do it so I may as well sure now if it's going to work or not. Find my pencil, here it is.
wonder if it'll look any good if I chop bits off like that. That's fine, I think. We'll keep going, see how far we get with this and see if we're happy with it. So now I want that up because I want to put a piece down here. I'm using my matte medium so I can seal it over the top a little bit like that. And also I need to cut some more pieces to make it a bit thinner.
so I covered all that and I think that that looks really nice and I wait for it to dry and then I'll trim it off along the side and I will be back on another day to do some more work on this because I think this is going to be quite a big project. I'm really looking forward to it and I will see you then. Thank you very much for watching. This is Deborah. Cheers.